Hello, welcome back to my bathtub. Yes, we do have shampoo and conditioner review. This is kind of different. Um, I want to talk about the Johnson's Kids Cruel Defining Shampoo and Leave-In Conditioner. So, if you'd like to hear about these products, prices, my full review, because this is not a first impressions, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that jazz. Um, I also do have an OnlyFans dedicated to this channel, so it's all about budget beauty. You can watch tomorrow's video there today for free. There's chatting, live streams, all sorts of stuff, so link is down below if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so a while ago, a couple weeks ago, I um, dyed my hair with that Garnier Olvia. And I do like sulfate-free shampoos and conditioners a lot, especially like right after I've dyed my hair. And the Johnson's Curl Defining Shampoo for Kids, um, there's no parabens, phthalates, sulfates, or dyes, which is nice. It does have shea butter. It's supposed to smooth fuzzy hair and defines curls. And I do have to say, I think the packaging is really, really cute. Um, but you do get 13.6 fluid ounces of the shampoo. You do get 6.8 in the leave-in conditioner. They have a lot of different um, types. So they have one that's like shine, um, enhancing. They have another one, but yeah, they have three or four different versions of the Johnson's um, Kid Shampoo and Conditioner. Some of them are like spray-in, leave-in conditioners, stuff like that. But yeah, we got these for about $4 a piece on Amazon, so not a bad price. But this is supposed to cleanse and defines waves and curls for 24 hours, gentle enough for toddlers and kids developing hair, hypoallergenic, pediatrician and ophthalmologist tested. Um, and like I said, it's free from the phthalates, dyes, um, and sulfates, which is a big thing for me. But let's go ahead. And as you can see, my hair is still looking pretty frizzy and dry because of that dang hair dye. Um, I haven't washed my hair in two days. As you can tell, it's looking pretty greasy and separated. So let's go ahead and we'll do the shampoo obviously in here. And then when I get out, we'll go ahead and do the leave-in conditioner. So yeah. Okay, so um, I do like the shampoo. I think if you do have children that you're gonna be buying this for, um, I don't think you're gonna need like a conditioner, you know, unless you wanna buy the leave-in. Um, but this isn't super duper moisturizing. And it doesn't suds up a ton, which is pretty normal when it comes to sulfate-free shampoos. So it does have a very gentle sort of scent. Yeah, you can tell it doesn't have like any like real heavy perfumes or anything in it because it just smells just very kind of bland, which once again isn't a bad thing, you know, for kids. You know that's needed or if you're sensitive to scents then you know do feel like I do have to use a little bit extra of this stuff just to get my whole entire head so but I do like this stuff it cleanses well and it is moisturizing but it's not as moisturizing as like a super moisturizing shampoo like oh uh, Let's say the Garnier, um, like the treasure ones, like the, there's like a honey one, the avocado one, those are super, super moisturizing. I think if you have normal combo hair, oily hair, you'd probably like this. So as you can see, it suds up a little bit, but it's not anything crazy. So, but um, I'll, I'll let this sit for a minute or two and then I'll go in and rinse it. Um, I do really like the shampoo though, like I said, and um, I think it's a decent price. So um, I'll see you here in a little while when I get out and uh, we'll go ahead and use the leave-in conditioner and kind of show you how that applies and all that. So see you in a sec. Okay, so I just got out. So I'm gonna go put in the leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna do it in the living room because I'm hot in here. So. I'll, I'll be showing you that and me combing it out and everything. And then when my hair's dry, I'll come in here and finish my review, all that kind of stuff. Oh, did you see all my lovely? Yeah, anyway, I'll see you in a sec.
Okay, so my hair is dry and as you can see it does enhance a little bit of my natural wave texture. I think if you do have curly or super wavy hair, then I do think that the Johnson's Curl Defining Shampoo and Conditioner would be a really good thing for you. I do like this. As you can see, my hair looks clean, it's full, and um, I do like this a lot. My ends are still <laughs> super dry, um, even though I cut off like four inches and I've been deep conditioning and everything, but this is a really good shampoo and conditioner, and I think it's a good deal, and I think it's good for kids or adults, but yeah, I just I really, really like the shampoo and leave-in conditioner. It's really, really nice, super affordable, and I do like that it's, you know, phthalate-free, um, sulfate free, no dye, stuff like that. So yes, definitely recommend this stuff if you're looking for an affordable drugstore sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. Like I said, if you have little kids, I think this would be great. If you're an adult, I think this is great as well. So anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy this week's um, hair care review. I was supposed to be doing my Ipsy unboxing, but I'm not supposed to get my Ipsy bag until August 2nd. So, sorry about that. Um, this will most likely be my last Ipsy bag because I'm just pretty frustrated with them. But anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, share it. Let me know down below in the comments if you or your kids um, use the Johnson's Kid Shampoo and Conditioner of any type. I will go ahead and link these down below. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to, but it's there if you want to. And just so you know, I do have an eBay page where I sell my discount makeup, beauty, skincare, all sorts of stuff. I also have a little Facebook group where we kind of get together and we share little hauls and all sorts of stuff. Those will be linked down below as well. And of course, you're more than welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all about the glam babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly. But you can always click on the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a second.